My wife's parents are members of World Marked by Wyndham. Every time we check into a property, they immediately ask us to come to a presentation. It's usually promised as a 90 minute to two hour event. In exchange, you'll get some type of gift. The goal is to convince non-members to become members and to convince members to increase the resort benefits by paying more money. The Wyndham folks once offered me a $150 American Express gift card to listen to their presentation. It was great. The breakfast wasn't so great, but the whole process wasn't super painful, and after 90 minutes, they knew I wasn't going to buy into the program, so I was released from their final sales pitch. The next time we stayed at a Wyndham, they only offered a $100 gift card, and they required that both Allie, my wife, and I attend that event. This was the only way we would get a $100 gift card. So we decided against participating. To me, the bar has been set at a $150 gift card for only one person attending a 90-minute presentation. So how does a presentation work in Mexico for a timeshare? In Cihuatanejo and Ixtapa, where we live, timeshares are a major part of tourism and the hotel industry. This is true for most coastal towns in Mexico, and even more prevalent in the super tourist areas like Cabo, Cancun, and Puerto Vallarta. The way it works is the sales guys or foot soldiers have kiosks set up or they just walk the streets recruiting anyone who looks like they are from out of town to attend one of these presentations. The sales guys are super friendly and they really don't care if you buy or not. They just want you to attend the timeshare presentation so they can get their 2,000 peso commission for bringing you to the table. We agreed to listen to a sales pitch at the Pacifica Grand in Zihuataneo. Pacifica also has a much bigger property in Ixtapa, complete with a cable gondola car from the top of the resort to the beach. In exchange for attending the presentation, we would receive breakfast and a 1,000 peso gift certificate good for food, drinks, or activities at either Pacifica Resort. So this is how it went down. We were picked up at our casa at 10 a.m. It's only about a 15 minute ride from our place to the resort. And after that, we had a quick registration. On the way to the property, we were coached on what to say. Our buddy Gilbert, who initially convinced us to listen to the sales pitch, and his friend said that we have to be staying at a hotel or vacation home in town and that our entire stay in Zihuatanejo could not be more than four weeks. The sales guys are also supposed to confirm in advance that any new potential customers are married and they earn more than $85,000 per year. At the Pacifica, we first met Abel, who would be with us for most of our visit. We started in the restaurant where Abel ate breakfast with us. It was a pretty good buffet-style meal, including an omelet bar. I would classify the 30 minutes or so that we ate breakfast as a casual interview. As we finished breakfast, Abel asked that we tip the wait staff, so I put 50 pesos or so on the table. Afterwards, Abel showed us the property as well as an example of the suites that they offered. The suite they showed us was really nice with a great ocean and bay view. We walked through the suite with about eight other potential suckers, I mean tourists. Afterwards, we went to the closing room, where we were passed to Jorge. At this point, it's about 11.30 in the morning, and Abel insisted that we have a drink. I asked for a Bloody Mary, and Allie was able to down a couple of mimosas. So the cost to join. Pacifica has a partnership with RCI, another vacation ownership company. If you buy a timeshare with Pacifica, then you will have the opportunity to stay at their partner properties as well. Unlike Wyndham, they don't operate on a point system, though. They ask you to choose which season you think you'd want to purchase for the next 25 years, prime, high, or mild. Then you let them know if you would need a one- or a two-bedroom suite for the next 25 years. The one-bedroom suites are twenty dollars to $40,000, depending on the season. The two-bedroom suites are $40,000 to $60,000. In exchange, they'll give you two weeks to use per year. The annual maintenance fee is between $1,300 and $1,500 per year. So after you agree that this is a pretty good deal, they then show you the amazing offer that they can extend to you if you are willing to commit 
today. Here's the deal for a one-bedroom suite during mild season, which is the lowest price to get in on their offer. You can do the math for the other seasons and for one bedroom versus two bedroom. A one bedroom during mild season gets you one week per year at the Pacifica Resort and two other weeks at any other RCI property during their mild season. For the next 30 years, you'll get this offer, not 25 years. But wait, there's more. Then they offer a discount of 30% off the purchase price of $20,000. They'll break that $14,000 fee into an upfront payment today of $2,430, plus over the next 18 months, you'll give them $667 a month. So for every year, over the 30 years, you'll pay $1,120 for your one week stay at Pacifica, and $200 to $400 for each of the two weeks at the other RCI properties. The minimum total investment is $60,000 over 30 years. This gives you three weeks per year at their vacation properties. So for a little under $700 per week, you can have a nice vacation. This is during the mild season though, when all lodging prices are at their lowest levels. For us, we don't wanna deal with having to figure out prime, high, mild seasons, for when we book our stays and also deal with the sales pitch every time we visit. Plus 30 years is a long commitment. It was still interesting to hear their sales pitch and we were not unhappy that we went. It's not for us, but it may be for someone else. The following week after our sales pitch, we went to the Pacifica's other property in the area, the Pacifica Resort in Ixtapa for our dinner. It was a good experience at El Faro restaurant located at the top of the resort with great views of Ixtapa and the Pacific Ocean. Two meals and several drinks cost us 700 pesos of our 1,000 peso gift certificate. We had to find our own transportation there, 24 pesos each for a round trip bus ticket, and we put 140 pesos down as a tip, plus another 50 pesos for the gondola car operator. Final verdict. You can get a good breakfast and a good dinner for two people worth approximately 1,500 to 1,800 pesos. So at today's conversion, that's about $80. It will cost you a couple of hours of time. Plus you should expect to pay out of pocket around 500 pesos or $25 for transportation and tips. Unless you buy into the vacation ownership plan, then it's a little pricier. Thanks for watching.